Good morning, folks. The Real Captain Kirk here live from Weather Trends 360 Studio here in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. It is Monday morning, the 18th of November. thought we'd get rid of some of these four-letter words out of the way right away here, sick and snow. Uh, we are off to a little bit of a faster start here with the flu season. A map on the left there, again, more widespread to regional outbreaks uh, versus last year where, again, we had a few states with some uh, regional outbreaks. But, again, getting off to a little faster start. Flu last year actually peaked uh, where the whole country had widespread flu by mid-January well into mid-February. So probably a quicker starting to get to that level here this year. Uh, probably, again, more toward late December, early January for the peak rather than last year, more like early February. Um, looking at some of the reasons for that, uh, again, we have very, very warm September. These are national trends by day. And then uh, the bars are showing you the deviation from average. And then as we got into October, the bottom started falling out uh, really cold as we got to the end of October here, the beginning of November. And the good news is uh, we're down the home stretch here. looks like uh, the next uh, couple weeks uh, nationally for the most part, other than a couple little blips of cooler weather here toward the weekend. But uh, overall, a warmer pattern uh, setting up for the U.S. Uh, overall here for the for the weeks ahead. We'll talk about that more in detail. Uh, the other four-letter word here is snow. Uh, Season-to-date snowfall here as of 18 November uh, is the most in 19 years. Again, still fifth most in 30 years, 73% above average. But if we look at this relative to snow cover here this morning, we can actually see that uh, we're actually below average. Uh, so a lot of that snow that did fall out in the plains and the Rockies is gone. Um, still got some of that lingering snow from last week uh, through the Great Lakes, and even some of that's going to be disappearing here. As of right now this morning, 12.2% of the country has snow on the ground. Average this time of year is about 15.7%, so that's the, the least in six years uh, for the date. So uh, nothing like 2014 when half the country, hard to believe, uh, back in 2014, half the country had snow on the ground at this point uh, in the season. Uh, if we look at the, um, this is just model projections here of snowfall, we'll get a little more detail here on the six-day outlook, but... Uh, Again, not a whole lot here other than the higher terrain of uh, the Rockies in New England here this week. And then next week, uh, again, most of the Rockies. looks like the Sierras may actually start to really get, kick in here. Um, in fact, some of the ski resorts here outside of WT360 Studios are open here in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Uh, so an early, early start, to say the least. Uh, with this cold weather, they've been able to make some snow. Haven't had any real snow as of yet, um, but again, making some snow for sure. Looking at the six-day snowfall forecast here across the country. Nothing here today much. A uh, little bit interior New England. Uh, tomorrow. Uh, then the system in the Rockies looks to get a little more intense, uh, especially the central Rockies. They're having a great season. I'm uh, starting out in, out in the west, uh, and then it's skirting out in the plains here. By Friday, uh, begins the diminishing, and then by Saturday, maybe some lingering uh, light snow uh, up in New England. Run through these one more time here Monday, today, Tuesday, Wednesday. You see that bigger system in the west uh, heading into the plains, Thursday, Friday, and then nothing by Saturday. Uh, if we look at uh, this week overall, we'd say it's 4.5 degrees warmer than last year for the nation as a whole. Warmest in seven years. So I haven't said that in a while. Been a few weeks of colder trends here. Now we're starting the, the warmer trends here for a couple weeks. Tenth warmest in 30 years nationally with above average national temperatures. Wettest in four years. Seventh wettest in 30 years. Uh, above average uh, precipitation. Snowfall will be about uh, similar to last year, but still about 22% below average uh, this week. Again, with most of that out in the higher terrain of the Rockies and then skirting out a little bit into the plains. Jumping ahead here to next week, uh, again, gets into the first day of December, hard to believe. Uh, three and a half, 3.3 3 degrees warmer than last year, eighth warmest in 30 years, uh, above average nationally. Again, so you see a very, very warm in the central U.S. Uh, that'll be a welcome reprieve after all the cold and snow they've had here the past few weeks. Um, so it looks like we're heading into a pretty mild uh, eastern half of the country potential Thanksgiving holiday here. Uh, it was frigid here, as I recall, last year outside 360 Studio in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Uh, this year looks to be significantly warmer. I think the high last year was only about 29 degrees here. Uh, this year might actually be in the 50s. Uh, so I think we'll we'll take that. Uh, weekly rainfall, what is in four years? Much above average national rainfall. Snowfall less than last year and about average. We'll look at these trends on a global scale here. This is just aggregating the next two weeks as a whole. Um, and again, we're starting to see um, more warmer trends than the colder trends. Cold is pretty much confined to Siberia, where I think it should stay most of the winter. Uh, unfortunately, it probably won't. Uh, much of North America is on the warmer side. Uh, pockets of seasonable temperatures in the Northeast, so we're not blistering hot in the Northeast. Uh, but uh, again, more seasonable temps. Europe's pretty warm, especially uh, Eastern Europe. And then the precip trends there on the left, so dry along uh, Florida. Um, the southeast part of the country looks to be a little drier with the heavier rain uh, Actually, starting even for California, parts of California and the southwest look to be very wet over the next couple of weeks. So with that, folks, we hope you have a great week, and we will be back here this time next week.